What I'm going to be tying here is the Juju 2. I'm going to start with my UTC 70 thread, color white. And I'm going to leave a long tag end hanging off the back of the fly as I lay down my thread base. And I'm going to lay it down on top. I'm going to use this to actually split my tails. Once I lay down my thread, I'm going to use micro fibettes for my tails in a dun color. I make the tips so they're even. I'm going to lay those down. I want about the length of the hook as far as length for my tails. When I tie them in, I want them to lay on top of the hook. And then to split them, I just take my thread and put it right in between both of those tails. And after I split them, I'm going to wrap everything back up the hook shank. I'm doing this to keep the body nice and smooth. Sometimes this thread gets in the way. You can see there the tails are split. Then I'm going to take my super hair. I'm going to take two or uh, three strand, two to three strands of chartreuse mixed in with one strand of black. I'm going to also tie those in on top of the hook. I'm going to wrap backwards. And I stop just a hair short of the tails to give that first wrap somewhere to, to go. Then as you wrap back forward, do it nice and smooth. Now the trick to wrapping the super hair is you make one loose wrap, just like that, and then you use your fingernail to actually position that first wrap where you want it. And then once you do that, you can just continue to wrap it all evenly forward. Once you get it going, it just goes real smooth. And tie it off at the head. Once you do that, uh, you're going to actually transition to some brown thread and get the white out of there. I do that just by having another bobbin handy and wrap back up over that white thread. Then you're going to tie in a piece of uh, CDC. I use the CDC puffs. The reason I do that is the tips on each of the puffs are even, so it makes a nice wing. There's no stray fibers or anything on them. So you can see there how the tips are all nice and even. And when I tie in the puffs, I tie it in fairly long to begin with. And I do two wraps over it, and then I take the tag ends and I actually just pull pull on oopsie. So I'm just gonna lay down a few wraps there. You just take it and pull it till it's the length that you want. And I like it to be about half the length of the body, just like that. Make a couple more wraps to secure it, and trim the, the butt ends out. And we'll cover those up. Now, next, I take my dubbing and I use brown dubbing and I use super fine dubbing. I like a nice clean smooth round head. You can use ice dub to add some flash to it if you wanted. I've done a few like that. But the super fine dubbing gives it a nice tight look. And what I'm trying to do here is just make somewhat of a, a round head up there. Just like that. And then that's done. That's Juju 2 and then just whip finish. And that's
next. Juju 2.